If you're guilty of littering in Hong Kong, you might be part of their shaming campaign. Uh, your face could soon be posted on posters and plastered all over the town, at least in Hong Kong. So they started this campaign called The Face of Litter. It was launched on Earth Day to raise awareness about the epidemic of littering in Hong Kong. And what they do is they take bits of trash like cigarette butts, coffee cups, used condoms, ugh, and then they no. use them for DNA sampling. Now, here is a, an explanation of the advertisement. Their visual, ex, their visual representations of each litter bug, and they're created and posted to ads on bus stops using Snapshot, a DNA phenotyping service. Now, we have a video explaining this in better detail. Take a quick look at that. So to make a story that's already very long, a little shorter, <laughs> they just use the DNA found on the litter to kind of figure out what the litter looks like. And I feel like this shaming campaign could have been done without the extra testing, right? If they're in a public place and they're littering and you really want to shame them, you could just take a picture of them and use them for your campaign. I don't think it's a good idea. I don't like the shaming method of, you know, achieving some sort of social change. But I just feel like this was more an ad for a DNA testing company than anything else. Matha, what do you think? Yeah, the creepiest part of the story is that they have the face recognition software to be able to construct an image of this person's face from the DNA samples that they got. I mean, public shaming has its ups and downs throughout history in terms of like curbing punishment. So I went to Montenegro and in the city called Kotor, they have um, a, a pillar of shame, they call it, in the public square. And oh during a period where there was an absence of monarchy rule, what they would do with the thief is tie them up to this pillar of shame so that all day everybody in town would at least pass them by once so they knew that this person was a thief. And it actually worked. The person was ran out of town. Wow. And this substituted any sort of like law enforcement or policing presence. So, you know, it could possibly be a cheaper alternative to policing. But this is the element that I'm not feeling, is that yeah. that face recognition, yeah. that, the either. depth of that. You know, I won't buy an iWatch because I'm just creeped out at them collecting my biometrics. Yeah, that's a good point. And also, you know, in California, I'm sure this varies based on which state you live in, there's a $1,000 fine for littering on the freeway, which is why you very rarely see litter on the freeway. No mm -hmm. one wants to pay a $1,000 fine. You don't need to go out of your way to, like, invade people's <laughs> privacy in yeah. order to get them to stop littering. Karama, what do you think? Make I, a point. I agree with both of you. What got me, and we said this earlier, was the amount of money that you're paying to do this face re recognition that that money could be going to something else. It's a waste of money and technology when all you have to do is imp put a fine out there and then people are not going to want to pay it. Yep. And if that doesn't work, then you have to start getting finding new methods and ways of getting into the family and getting into their psyche and telling them like you're destroying your own your own land, you're destroying your, your own, own city, your own community. Well, maybe they could litter their houses. <laughs> You know, like there's so many other options than yeah, spending all this money to find facial recognition because I just think about some young jerk that's like, ooh, I could get my face up there <laughs> who's going to start littering hoping that his face gets up there. Yeah, some people are obsessed with fame and attention, so that's not so far-fetched. Here's the question, though. Uh, what are one of your bad habits? It might not be littering, but it could be something else. Karamo. Um, mine, and my mother hates it, I cut my nails everywhere. Uh, except for oh, where I need crazy. to. Yeah, so like oh. I could be driving or I'm outside or whatever. 
I just, I don't know. It's just, my father did it, I do it, my son does it now, and now it's just <laughs> passing on. It's the worst. Maitha, what about you? I have two, ha two bad habits that are kind of tied to my hair. One that's involuntary. My hair sheds yes, everywhere. Yes, yes. And I can't help it. My mom just, like, if I'm at home, she picks it up and she's frustrated, or I have friends that pick it up. They're like, it's everywhere. I was like, what can I do? Do you want me, like, to have it constantly up? Uh -huh. And the other thing is that I love picking on my split ends, so... That is, like, when you see my hair all over the place and there are tiny little stubs of hair, then that's my fault. Are you cutting yeah. your split ends with scissors? No, I'm just pulling them oh, out. Oh, don't like, do that, I know, girl. I know. It's your just, hair is beautiful. How thank do you. you. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know how it maintains itself, but, that's yeah. That's pretty incredible. I'm trying to grow mine out. I, I got a, a lob, they call it, which mm -hmm. is a long bob, and... Anyway, you guys don't care. Why am I talking about <laughs> no, <don't. laughs> Anyway, all right, so um, my bad habit is I... For some reason, have a difficult time squeezing the toothpaste out from the back of the tube. I always like squeeze it from the middle, and so we're getting a divorce. <laughs> I mean, I have I have lots of bad habits, but that's just the one that comes to mind right now. Yeah. And my boyfriend actually shamed me on his Instagram account. He he posted a picture of it. He was like, "Shame on you, Anna." You know, whatever. And then he has to like go out of his way to like you know. Well, that could be easily remedied. Don't they have those little stoppers that I know, you push? I know. That wouldn't encourage you to just like push it down. Probably it's less effort. Probably not. There's so much going on in the day that like the last thing I'm worried about is whether or not I'm using the right toothpaste <laughs> etiquette. Anyway, what are your bad habits? I want to hear about them. I love the juicy, dirty details on your personal lives. So mm -hmm. comment and share in the section below.